In this video, we're going to look at a look at blending modes in Photopea. In order to do this, we're going to use some tattoos. Some will have white backgrounds and some will have transparent backgrounds. First, look at this dragon. Let's scale it to our right size. In placing the image, you may want to scale it, rotate it, but definitely try to warp it so that it's just not a flat image sitting on top of a person. To eliminate the white from the object, it would be very difficult to use the magic wand or the lasso tool, so we're going to use a blending mode. In this case, in order to eliminate white from an object, you can use a blending mode called multiply. Next we'll use a layer mask to get rid of the part of the dragon that's overlapping the t-shirt. This next image is a vector graphic. It's a saved as a PNG file, which has a transparent background. So it has a little bit less work to do than the previous image and gives us a few more options in our blending modes. Again, we'll start by scaling the image. This time I'll show you a different technique on how to eliminate the part that's overlying the shirt by creating a selection and then we'll fill the selection. I'll then grab the brush with a black fill to remove other parts of the image that I don't want. For this layer, I'm going to use a blending mode called Soft Light. The whole purpose of the tattoo is to try to make it look like it was always there. You don't want very hard edges and you want some sort of blending. You can also blend by changing the opacity by having some of the underlying skin show through. Let's finish things off by adding one more image, a little Iron Man on the arm. Hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe to the channel.